So from the book, you get sorcerer out of the book, emerges from the book. What you in the book, there are four people, four players, multiplayer. Usually we are talking about four players together. And you see the planes and you move. This is part of the magic, uh, high velocity, moving from one place to another. You leave the trail of your footage and you move and you use the flame of the magic or saucer. And each one has its uh, magic to use against. You beat some evil object. And this is a soul of the goblin. And from the ground, uh, you have a hand uh, coming out, and that's also power. Yes, that's one of the power magic. In the dark world, this is also very dark, but um, it's, we're not, everything is not dark um, because it's basically uh, um, invaded or overpowered by uh, the monsters. They're conquered by the monsters. So basically people, uh, human beings, basically end up uh, being monsters. It's by the Kerberos. Uh, it's like a wolf-like monster with three heads. So it's a little different from the conventional Kerberos because this is our version, our take of Kerberos. Because, you know, what kind of desire made him end up being uh, like this or in this form? And looking from that angle, you could also could look at the background of the original human being. And magic itself, there's three uh, parts, three things, right? And then you could choose uh, which, you could switch uh, to which type. So uh, instantly there are six kinds or three kinds of magic that you could use. And obviously there is a magic to attack, or there's a kind of magic where you have light from the ground. And we're talking about velocity, we are really um, pushing that. So although it's a sorcerer's game, you really, there's a lot of movement. I kind of felt, I had this stereotypical image that if it's sorcerer, you kind of step aside of the back and then do something like that. This time there's no uh, warriors or uh, brave ones or wise men like you see in other uh, games. So those type of people do not exist and they are, there are only sorcerers in the game. And by using uh, magic, you can be a warrior. The sorcerers can be a, a wise uh, man or a warrior or a brave one. So everything is basically maneuvered or handled by using magic. Right, on the screen, I just saw some red uh, text. And by giving more uh, damage uh, to the enemy, um, there are some words in text. You see uh, the weaknesses of uh, the human uh, side of the monster. This is a uh, golem. Well, he's not an enemy, but basically uh, he's the one calling. Well, he's basically coming out of the ground, uh, beating. But now I took the sword. Uh, the sword is made by the tree. So basically by sacrificing the tree, you get this uh, weapon. And basically... Um, you, there's a cost, or you pay a price uh, to acquire powers. And now uh, one of the heads of the Kerberos has blown away. And now you stopped time, and then you could attack in the screen. And uh, while uh, fighting, it's difficult maybe for people to read uh, what's uh, delivered on text. Maybe I'm making an excuse. You know, the type of words that the monster is uh, actually uh, saying is kind of more like an excuse. But I, well, I'm kind of looking for the magic point. Uh, but, uh, well, if you have something that uh, you can sacrifice, or if there's uh, something that you could pay, uh, for a price, you can always use your powers. If you don't own anything uh, to pay uh, for as a cost, uh, you could also use your physical parts of the body, like your eyes or whatnot.
and this, he's dead or he's nearly dead right now. So you have uh, your team members uh, trying to uh, decide whether you want to save, redeem him, or to offer him as a sacrifice. And um, you use the magic of salamander by offering, and then using this fire power, you yourself become a huge fire, uh, fire and you confront uh, Kerberos. So this is basically sacrificing a life. So that's the ultimate uh, sacrifice or ultimate power. And by doing so, uh, you destroyed uh, Kerberos, and also you lost one uh, quest member. Here you have these texts saying that I want to hear my child's voice. I want to see my family. The monster is now back, uh, going back to its human form. And at this moment, again, you want to save him or you know, give him as an offering. You decide as a team. And mercilessly, you decide to make this person this uh, an offering.